Good morning, this is Giuseppe Basile, I'm the analyst and shooter, you can find at the blog FibonacciStalking.com. I also post regularly on Twitter using the FibStalker nickname. Good morning, today is Tuesday, December 11th, 2012, and it's 11 uh, um, EM Italian time. I want to remind you that uh, Italian time zone is GMT plus one. Uh, this is a video review for the EuroFX uh, FX, um, currency future contract traded on the CME, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And what you see on the screen is the daily chart of the EUROFX continuous contract aligned to the uh, this, to the March uh, 2013 uh, expiration. Um, in these uh, video reviews that I share on my blog, I do daily uh, an, a daily analysis of the euro dollar to see what are the opportunities and where we are in price. So. Um, uh, on the daily chart you see on the screen, you will remember that uh, we identified a level of support a few weeks ago now uh, in the 126.65 uh, area. Um, I have also the 200 the day moving average, which is the red line, thin line here, and the um, green line is the 100 moving average. I don't use these moving averages, but uh, as we can see from the chart, in the last few uh, days and weeks, these, um, these moving averages have been uh, uh, in the way uh, of price and I believe they have uh, generated uh, um, a few failures in the, in the sequences of uh, measured moves uh, that uh, I uh, analyze with my method. So, um, I think uh, it's important to have them uh, here at the moment because they can represent um, a level of support and resistance uh, which uh, where uh, price can actually um, invert and so it can produce a, a, uh, an interruption of the sequence of measure move. Uh, the last time that happened it was in November, uh, November the 13th, and it's uh, it can be seen on the weekly chart, uh, I think, very clearly. As we can see, the price hit the 20 week moving average, which is the 100 day moving average, and uh, we can see this uh, on the on price approaching the the green line here and at the same time price approached this uh, level of support which was from 121.50 and it was a valid uh, anchor because uh, it was derived from an observation we made on the weekly time frame so uh, <clears throat> uh, I will uh, I will keep this measure this um, this uh, moving averages here uh, at the moment Let's go and see <coughs> in the last few days what happened. Uh, we had this sequence of measure move higher. It was sloppy at the very beginning and uh, in fact price went below 127.20 here but then hold uh, um, it, it held the next uh, in the next retracement the 27.40 area and we hit the first and second target and the market started <coughs> trading in extensions um, uh, usually what we expect we expect price of the euro moving out from this uh, level of support uh, trading in extensions but as we can see the next extensions was also sloppy and there was not there, there was an indication that something was wrong uh, however i kept trading this market tire because um, uh, i could not know that and Anyway, in any case, we hit the first target in 13060, and uh, and we we uh, we approached the second target, but uh, we didn't make it. Um, uh, there was a, a front run of seven pips. Um, so the next um, the next um, the next trace of the sequence failed. So to me, all this uh, move higher failed. Where uh, price found resistance was an obvious all the way off the way back. Uh, and um, in the 128, 129 area, and at the moment this uh, this level of support is holding. So uh, there are uh, there are three possibilities I see at the moment. First of all, if price moves above 130, uh, 35, 130, 40, uh, this level of support will be confirmed, and even if we come back to it, we should actually get a reaction. And um, however, price could stop, uh, could stop before it could stop uh, 
uh, it could stop uh, at the uh, 129 uh, AD area and actually we are approaching this area at the moment so if uh, if price um, let's say stops between 128.80 and uh, 130 and then um, and then reverses uh, um, we could see a violation of the 128.40 and in that case um, all this um, this long sideways action we had actually could continue we could get some support at this um, moving averages are heavier but uh, at that point uh, i would expect um, i would expect uh, as i said also in the weekly uh, in the weekly review i would expect uh, uh, um, a retracement lower into 126.20 and um, so um, this is what we have these are the levels we have we have to watch we have to watch 13040 above it uh, this support is confirmed we can see higher prices and uh, otherwise we have to see if we get a violation of the four hour sequence the sequence of the four hour chart uh, which is this uh, move higher that started here from the 129 um, level of support and see if we get if we get a reversal here if you get a reversal here um, we could move below 128.40 i hope this um, this update is useful um, uh, i wish you a very good uh, trading day and uh, rest of the week um, i look forward to see you on my blog uh, i have a lot of information there also covering um, uh, other forex pairs and stocks in, in etfs i also write and uh, distribute um, weekly free newsletter if you want to receive it just uh, subscribe on my uh, website thank you for your attention and uh, see you soon bye bye